Hi, I'm Matt Scott, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum Assessment and Professional Development for the Kennewick School District. Thank you for joining us to learn more about our curriculum and the selection and adoption processes we follow in the Kennewick School District. In KSD, we believe that a high quality curriculum is at the heart of a high quality education. In this video, I'll give an overview of the work of our curriculum department, provide details on where you can view our curriculum and discuss our district's curriculum adoption process. To start, let me explain what I mean by curriculum. The term curriculum refers to a few things, the learning standards of the subject matter, the materials used to teach those standards, and the instructional strategies that make those materials come to life. Learning standards define what all students need to know and be able to do at each grade level. Throughout their K-12 education, students progress through the curriculum of a variety of subjects comprising the K-12 course of study. Next up, I want to tell you a little about the department that's responsible for ensuring the best in learning and instruction for that K-12 course of study. Our curriculum department's responsibilities include researching and assisting staff in selecting textbooks and instructional materials, implementing curriculum that is aligned with state standards, developing information systems that record, measure, and assess student learning, acting as a resource for current research and best practices and programs, and coordinating professional development. In KSD, we want to make sure that parents and community members can review our curriculum materials at will. There are a few ways to go about that. The curriculum page on our district's website contains information on the Washington State learning standards for each subject along with the year of the last adoption. It also has a comprehensive list of the core curriculum materials for each subject and grade level, providing easy reference to core instructional materials and the page lists links to publisher websites so parents can examine the materials for themselves. New to the page are the math and science focus areas in both English and Spanish so that parents can see the practices and standards their children are learning at each grade level in a more user-friendly format than the standard document. We also have information about our current adoption and advisory work and notifications about curriculum reviews that may be scheduled from time to time. Additionally, we physically house a curriculum library with all the materials that have been adopted. Those materials can be reviewed by the public by appointment. Some of you may be wondering what the process is for adopting curriculum materials in the Kennewick School District. The school board has the sole authority for approving the core and supplemental instructional materials. However, the board values the input of teachers and the community in this process. Teachers and administrators vet the materials, solicit community review and comment, and make a recommendation of the school board, which ultimately considers the recommendation for approval. Core instructional materials are reviewed on a 10-year cycle. The adoption process typically takes three years. Year one is a planning year. During this time period, the Subject Area's Curriculum Advisory Committee assesses the curricular needs of the subject area and develops the selection criteria to be used in considering materials. Year two of the process is when the bulk of the work is done to develop the recommendation. What was a small group becomes a much larger group. We ensure that all grade levels and all school buildings have representation on this larger selection committee. The larger group receives information and presentations by publishers applying the selection criteria to determine the materials that will best meet the students' and teachers' instructional needs. Once materials have been considered, they are previewed by parents with the teachers presenting the rationale for the materials that have been selected. Parents are invited to review the materials and to provide comment and approval of these materials. The goal of this process is transparency and consideration of a variety of points of view. Once this process is complete, the recommendation is made to the school board in a public meeting for their consideration. If approved, the materials are purchased, staff training is scheduled, and the next phase of adoption begins. In year three, the goal is to begin the implementation of the materials. A great deal of professional development and training occurs and teachers work together to plan and collaborate on the use of these new materials. Implementation is a process that continues throughout the life of the adoption. Supplemental materials, such as class novels, are requested at the building level, reviewed by the appropriate curriculum advisory committee, and, if recommended, are approved by the school board, usually as a consent agenda item. The district has board policy and regulations that provide processes for parents or community members to challenge for reconsideration instructional materials. Additionally, parents may opt their children out of curriculum resources they find personally objectionable by working with their school principal. Typically, alternative materials and assignments will be assigned so the student may still have access to learning the standards and can continue to make progress in the course of study. 
Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you found it helpful and informative. If you have more questions about curriculum, please contact us in the curriculum department. Also, please check out other videos in our Get to Know Kennewick School District series that are available on our website and also on our YouTube channel.